Here we have someone with a disproportionately large tip of the nose. When we reduce the tip, that tip of the nose is now in balance with the rest of the bridge of the nose. In nose surgery, the nose may have some relative small deformities or a, a tip that's not too attractive. And here we reshape the nose to create a little cuter tip, raise the tip angle a little bit, and generally put the nose in harmony with the rest of the face. After multiple injuries or unidentified problems, we see that this individual has a very large bump and wide bridge. The main part of her surgery is correcting this bridge and making it smoother and straighter and smaller as well. Now this bridge is somewhat imbalanced with her tip. Elevating the tip is an important feature of nose surgery because it allows people to see the full upper lip. This angle between the tip of the nose and the lip should be about 100 or 110 degrees. The nose is being pushed down by the bone of the bridge which has grown outward and causing this bump. After surgery we see quite a few changes here. This angle has now been improved. The tip has gotten smaller and more defined and the bump is gone. Within the photos we find that certain aspects of the nose are seen better in different photos. This three quarters view gives us the best view of the nose overall. Here we see a hump deformity and a protrusion of the nose. It's not so much that there is a particular bump as that the nose is projecting out far from this individual's face. This is pushing the tip downward. Here we've somewhat shortened the nose and reshaped the tip. Again, this has opened up this lip area. Also, we can see that the bump is gone and the nose is now straight. Again, here we see that the nose is projecting out very far from the face and has this hump deformity type appearance. Once the nose is brought back closer to the face, it is more in line with the profile. Here again we 